Before I begin, I wish to express my gratitude to the for our entire sector's patience and request. My topic this evening concerns several issues that have been tracked. Before I begin, I must digress back to the last time I spoke before the board. In relation to the Brown County Board of Common Board, on December 7th, the floor of the county board made a final I made an appeal to the board to take under consideration establishing limits to the hours of operation for commercial establishments operating adjacent to and in close proximity to the residential property. The decision in favor of limiting the hours of operation to set the impact of owners by expelling traffic to such an enterprise breaks program. Has the board had an opportunity to consider this request? If so, what is the board's decision? If not, again, I respectfully request the board take into consideration the approach made as to limiting commercial enterprises to hours of operation when such enterprises share borders with and are in close proximity to the residential property owners. The commercial enterprise hours of operation proposed were on 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, and 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. In priority with the aforementioned request, I respectfully request that the board consider and decide in favor of light balance and proposed commercial enterprise hours of operation. Residential homeowners in Lowndes County take notice. To permit the establishment of Foxborough Avenue in Gotham, the county has irreversibly established a ghost area for residents. You can wake up one morning and find a massive school being built in your front yard. Although the construction of the Foxborough McDonald's is underway, I can still find this out as president. Four years ago, when I was preparing my family for post Air Force retirement, I searched for opportunities to continue to drive in life and acquire their six dollars a day. Many companies from coast to coast and point to the plane toward me. None of them matched my ideal vision for post Air Force retirement. That was until I was offered a position at Moody Air Force Base. The employment opportunity at Moody Air Force Base was appealed. What signed the deal was the appeal of the Royal Ambassador of County Liberty. I searched for the ideal home to finally establish roots after 25 years of nomadic life. Led us to the community of Foxborough. The community of Foxborough provided the ideal venue to enjoy the quiet, rural life of County Liberty. Now McDonald's, the sport of the county, has shattered my dreams and ended my enjoyment of County Liberty. I cannot comprehend how the county could possibly benefit from allowing such an establishment to be built in a quiet county residential neighborhood. Is it because it provides unskilled, low-paying jobs? Would Mr. McDonald's look good on a resume? It was my understanding that not often enough county wanted to attract a more skilled, professional workforce. Real estate on Foxborough Avenue, the county committed to McDonald's to build on, would have been, and is, prime real estate for just such a professional enterprise. For many reasons, a professional enterprise would have been, will be, more readily accepted by its residential property neighbors. Professional establishments would not likely operate 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. The noise and lighting of a professional establishment would most likely be limited to daytime business hours. The traffic to and from a professional establishment would be, will be, exponentially less than traffic to and from a casual store. Traffic congestion is a highly undesirable condition for us to have. One not need to take my word on this statement. Contributors, authors, and signers of the Lowndes County Newport Land Unified Land Development Code, the ULDC, have made many references throughout the code to this fact. Take, for instance, paragraph 1.04.00, purpose and intent of the ULDC. The purpose of these regulations is to lessen congestion in the street, prevent urban sprawl, assure the adequate provision of safe and convenient traffic access and circulation, both vehicular and pedestrian, promote desirable living conditions, and sustain the stability of neighborhoods, and protect against blight and depreciation. Thank you, sir. To provide reasonable regulations to develop and drive properties in the interest of public health, safety, and welfare. I don't understand how the Congress would be considered to fit into any of those categories of public health, safety, and welfare. I very express my gratitude to the state students. After nearly $100 spent in acquiring the records of this occupation in the Dallas County over the past several weeks, I still have not found a development plan for Foxboro Avenue McDonald's for business for a fire lane, an offset loading, supply and loading space, and is not quoted for this because the requirement for an eight-vehicle minimum stack of space and bypass lane have been met. I have reference to ULDC references in my letter, which I provided to Dave and I will tell all of y'all. In conclusion, I greatly appreciate the support of Dave Stoops and the rest of the state. I ask the board to consider in favor for the adoption of reasonable business hours of operation for establishments such that as McDonald's and such businesses share property lines 
with and are in close proximity of residential homes. I ask the board to consider authorizing a traffic volume survey on Foxborough Avenue. I ask the board's consideration to a total reevaluation of the Foxborough Avenue design with the goal of ultimate cancellation of the permit based in part to its conflict with Lowndes County U5 land development code and in part because it's a private as always.